Good afternoon everybody, this is NCP, and um, basically I'm going to continue the video of the Wi-Fi switch that I should have continued about a week ago, but I screwed up my back again, so I just haven't felt like doing it, to be honest. And I still don't feel like doing it, but it needs to be done. You need to see it, and I need to have it done. So, basically, this is about $5. This is a Sonoff's uh, Wi-Fi switch. This is a TP-Link. I think they're about 15 and these are mostly what I use right now these um however that's pronounced Wi-Fi outlets these are what I use for most of my home automation lights and stuff but you'll see later on the Christmas tree and stuff but it's number five but I went ahead and set these up basically we're gonna make one of these and these are about I don't know let's say 15 or 17 dollars each now these are great if they're out inside or out, you know, doing things. But if you want a permanent insulation and you want it cheap, you can go ahead and get a bunch of these. And these are about five bucks if it's a pop. And I'll put links down below. And all this stuff works with Alexa. All this stuff works um, voice command and uh, regular commands. Um, I haven't used these yet. And these came with my smart bulbs I bought. Um, I'll put a link to those too. Um, they had a deal for Black Friday, so I, they were like five bucks. So I said, what the heck, right? But they're big, and these things take up outlets. Now this is basically a remote control, or a you know, well, remote control, I guess, uh, extension cord. So what I did is every time I throw away something electrical, I take and I keep the, uh, the cord off it. So this is off an old vacuum cleaner. This ran about 10 amps, so that's fine. And these run, I think, 10 or 15 amps. Um, these run, I know these run 10 amps. I don't know what the amp rating on this one is. Uh, I don't know. But we're going to hook them up to some LED lights I have above here. Above the sink. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to cut the cords. And I'll, I'll do the wiring, the ugly part. I'll put it in this box and put it up there in a switch. And I could just make the whole switch. I want the outlet on all the time because I want, I want the Alexa to run on that. So, I'm going to move her under the counter here. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of the cabinet, which you can't see right now, but you will later. And I'll just do the extension cord now, and we'll plug this in. And I'll hardwire the lights into it. I'll cut the cords off and do that. But let's get into this here. Um, basically, this is the whole unit. And like I said, they're about five bucks. And you put your, you just Sorry, put your, I don't know that one. cancel. <laughs> Nosy. That was the, the Alexa over there. Um, you go ahead and put it in, and then I'll show you how to link it up to your account. You have to have a, a Wii Link or E-Links e or something. Whatever that is right there, I can't see that uh, one on top one. But they work with all these other units too. And uh, it's a Wi-Fi switch basically. So we're gonna make, like I said, a thing. And they, they sell outlets and everything else. So we'll get this together. It's just a real simple thing, and let me um, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let me just uh, trim this wires down. I was I debated for a long time whether to get a plastic box or a metal box, and that would work just fine like that. I could seal the whole unit up, but I don't know if these things have problems if you have to open it up to re-hit the the sink switch there or not. So I'm just going to do my wiring in here just for fire safety, which. You know, we're, we're talking low voltage here anyway, but I think these are uh, like uh, 20 watts each, so 40 watts. So that's not even, I don't think that's even an amp. I ain't going to do the math right now, though, but. Um, so we just wired in. There's an inside and an outside, and uh, I'll splice the other ones together. I'll do that off-thing, off but basically we'll just do this part here and wire it up. And um, like I said, I, I didn't want to put it in the metal box. Because I also don't want to make like a Faraday cage and block the Wi-Fi signal. Now my, my 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 router is very strong, but I don't want to risk it. And I don't want to open it if there's a problem. I just want to hit that. And there's little holes on the side to mount it in the cabinet, so that's what we'll do. So let me go ahead and strip this wire down and get it ready, and we'll I'll be right back. All right, we got here so I can see line and neutral. Okay, that's the input side. So. We're going to put our, our line side in, which is the black, and our neutral is the white. 
and it's real simple here. We're just going to open up the, the clamps there. Get in there for you. Zoom in for you there. We're going to open those up. So let me go down there. Let me just unscrew those a bit. Sorry about that. I had to stop the camera because people came in the kitchen, which is why I'm filming. Anyway, so we got the line in the neutral up. That's all screwed up there. But we got the line in the neutral in there. That's all you got to do for that one part of it is just do it like that real quick. And don't screw them up. I mean, yeah, just, just don't screw it up. <clears throat> okay. Then we're going to go ahead and put the top on, which has a, a string relief type clamp already built into it. And I think these are the same. So it doesn't matter which side goes where. Even though they are offset, the sides are a little bit offset in there. So let's go ahead and clamp this up. Or, or yeah, set it down. Get the string leaf in there. Just like that. We'll take our screws here. This is really a simple thing. Of course, that'd be slot. All right, Phillips, hold on. All right, sorry about that. I really need to organize my tool bag. So we're going to go ahead and put these in. Are these magnetic? Yes. So we're going to get that in, line it up, tighten them down. Not, not incredibly tight, but tight enough. And actually, I should probably use a bigger screwdriver. Yeah, that's right there. I just do a uh, finger tight on these. Now technically that switch is ready to go. So we're going to have to pull everything apart now and run it through the cabinet. So I'll continue this once I get on the top shelf up here. And we'll, we'll resume our view in there after I cut the lights and everything. And I'll just take those wires and put them in here. The same thing. I'll have to pigtail them together. So I'm, I'll mount the box and everything. I'll be right back. One thing before I cut this. Um, basically, the uh, the neutral side is the big side. And on these lines, uh, there, if we can focus, I'm sure there's going to be a, a, uh, a marking on the neutral side. Yeah, right there. See it? The lines are different, and this would be smooth. So the hot side doesn't have any markings on it, but the neutral does. So when I cut the cord, that's how you know which is the neutral or the white side, and the the hot side or the black. And they may have color coding inside. I don't know, but just so you know that that's the hot right there, or the neutral right there, the big one on a polarized plug. And it's got the markings all the way down the cord, so you know which side's which. All right, I'll be right back once I get this cut and set up. All right, so that's how I wired it oh, poorly. I had these things come up through the hole, the hole already, so back with it. And like I said, this is all GFCI and everything. I'll, I'll put this plate on in a minute, but I just want to show my bad wiring there. <laughs> but this is how it looks. So it's in ready mode. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna hit that button and sync it, and then I'm gonna. I'm going to turn on my screen recorder because I have to go to an app. So let me be right back. All right, so there it is. All set up and ready to sync. I'm going to hit that button. Actually, I'll go ahead and hit the button now, and then I'll just unplug it off camera, and then I'll redo it when I go to the app. So hit this button to sync it. And that, oh, I guess that just turns the lights on and off. Ha! Huh. All right, so that turns the lights on and off. Okay, so that's a manual switch for the lights. So... Okay, so that's that. So let me go, let me get in sync mode and I'll be right back from the app side. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and hit the E to start it. To log in. And we're going to pair a device. So we're going to hit the plus down here. Now we got to hold the little black button that turned on and off for about five seconds. So let's go ahead and do that now, I guess. Yeah. One, two, three. Four, five, six. All right. Okay. So it's flashing rapidly green, just like there. Oh, this is the green. So let's go next. It's in my password. I'll correct all this. All 
Now I'm going to hit done. And we're going to go ahead and connect. <clears throat> Found it. Changing Wi-Fi around, you know, on and off, connects to it, connects to the phone, connects to the router. It's all kinds of fun, good stuff. Registering it, sending my personal information probably, I don't know. All right, complete. And we'll just call it that for now. We'll change it later, I guess, I don't know. Let's uh, take a few minutes, okay. Solid green light up there. I think I can, I think I can probably turn it on now. Mm. Yep, I can turn it on. Okay, so mm. now we've got this set up. Let me go back. Well, just so you know, I turn mm. on and off like that, and it's coming on and off. Mm. So let me go back. Mm. Neat. Mm. Let me go back to the camera on the phone and see what we got to do to set this thing up on Alexa. I think I need to have Alexa discover my devices. We'll try that in a second here. Hold on. So this is the, the end of it. I've got it attached to the Alexa and um, cancel. And um, I enabled the skill. Um, it was a pain in the butt, but I got enabled. And I linked everything together and my accounts and everything. So now I can just say, <clears throat> and I mounted her up here, by the way. Alexa, turn on the cabinet lights. Okay. And that's it. You know, I don't have to get out of bed or nothing. So it's pretty good. I'll, I'll do a, once I get the house cleaned up, it, it's really messy still with all the boxes and things are just wherever, you know, for example. <laughs> so I got to clean it up, but, but this is it, you know, uh, as a sawn off switch. Um, things that you could just use any of the other switches, just as easy, works just the same, you know. It just, just depends on what you want to do with it, so. With that, I'll say good night, everybody, and have a great time and stay safe. Alexa, turn off the cabinet lights. Okay. Have a, have a great one, everybody. North Camp Pepper out.